Welcome, everybody. This is the G-Man here. I just want to say thank you so much. Hope you like what you see. I'll be making some videos here. These are dedicated to some community members, especially this one. This one's dedicated to Lady Fantastic. So if you like what you see, please, as you see my little girl, Zenru, and you'll see some pictures of my garden, some of my flowers that have been bloom right now. I'm still waiting for more. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. This is to Lady Fantastic. Thank you so much, love. I really appreciate it. And there'll be some more videos just like this coming out. There's going to be like four other ones that I'll be putting together. So hope you enjoy. Uh, enjoy the pictures. There, there we go. There's, there's my daylilies, Bella Lagosi, they're called. Those are Bella Lagosis. It's awesome. Queen G gave me those 14 years ago. My Venus flytraps are in bloom. So thank you. Hope you like the show. Enjoy it. Hit that like, subscribe. Hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? So I'm going to be making some videos today. I had this annoying blue jay in my backyard that will not shut up. So I apologize for if he's making too much noise. But I got a big shout out for somebody today. Uh, a bunch of people in the community. Big shout out to Wolf Blitz. My man, thank you so much. Lady Fantastic Caroline, thank you so much. Cat60, Bill, if everybody knows him. Awesome. Thank you so much. Matty Freeze, you too, my brother. Thank you so much. Didn't have the one, but I'll be showing it. And then we got Madhouse Comics. Couldn't do without those guys. Make sure you go support them. And then check out, uh, we have Affordable Auctions as well. Those guys are awesome, fantastic people. Know their stuff, I'll tell you that. So don't, you know, don't forget to not watch them. They're great. They got great deals every once in a while. Barbarian Kung Fu, another friend that I've known for years, and big thank you to you, sir. I really appreciate it. There's going to be some videos here that I'm dropping. I'm thanking you all right in the very beginning because I'll be making some multiple videos. You each are getting a multi, each of you are getting a video because I got a big haul today. And Tricky Trapster, my man, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So just let me show you what I'm going to be reviewing, and then I'm going to be making some videos. One for Wolf Blitz, one for Lady Fantastic, one for Cat 60, one for Maddie Freeze, one for, for Barbarian Kung Fu and Tricky Trapster. I want to say thank you so much, you guys, and here we go. Here's some of it. And here we go. Here's how we're going to start it. So this is a big shout out to Lady Fantastic. This is her video. And... She left me a little note here on a little piece of cardboard, and it says, G-Man, thank you for your patience, and I added some uh, added some goodies, some books I thought you'd like, wishing you and Miss G the best. And I'll say thank you so much for uh, wishing Queen the, the best as well, because that's, that means a lot. So thank you, Caroline. So here we go. This is from February 1st, 1973. Everybody should know this crazy book, <laughs> but I got a little story to tell you. All right. So it's interesting. So if you haven't read it, I read everything that came in. So I'm sorry for the delay, you guys. Uh, this is taking a little bit, but this is for Lady Fantastic. So this crazy comic, going to tell you a little bit about what it's about. It's, it's pretty funny. Uh, okay. So for Bushman auditions to join. Uh, and there we go. We just lost it. We lost it because we've got a really bad wind today. So here we go. Try it again. For Bushman, auditions to join the X men defeating Magnet O and his villains, sidekicks, in the process to addition to joining the Revengers, as you're going to notice, Four Bushman fights Dang and the Conqueror in the year 1 million BC. Knock ferocious assassins, Four Bushman, to inflict the Yellow Paws secret laundry for supervillains. Four Bushman defeats a horde of supervillains and sneaks away from home to join the Revengers. So that's part one. Now, part two, 
of this same story. They cross-referenced it, just so you're aware, 1975, to this one. So the continuations actually in this book, issue five, if you notice, so book one, book five. So the continuation of that story ends in this book, which is really cool. Beautiful copies, Lady lady Fantastic. Couldn't ask for much, but I mean, I got them all in Mylar's. Definitely going to be great in the collection. It's nice to have a nice one of that. So here we go, another one. Uh, this is issue five, May 1973. Look at this. Spoof. Everybody should know who this is. Fonzie and the rest. Look at this. Love this stuff. 20 center, 5 cent. Beautiful book. It's all from Lady Fantastic. And we got Marvel Features. Ant-Man, issue 9. Fantastic stuff. Love it. The wind will not stop. But beautiful copy. Thank you so much, lady. I love this book. It's so good. And now I'm going to read you another little story here. And that's this next book. I made my notes. Here we go. Boy, the wind is kind of crazy all of a sudden. So, here we go. Everybody should know what this is. This is Astonishing Tales featuring it. The Living Colossus. What is he? He's a golem. Which is kind of neat because Stan Lee created this story as well. And also, um, it's Jewish tradition uh, in the actual legendary stories of golems. So it's pretty cool. I love this story. I love anything to do with the golems. Living Colossus. But what this story is about so far, this came out, this is issue 23, uh, 1974. This is, ah, uh, this wind. Oh my goodness, I just cannot do this today. Sorry about that, guys. Let's try to adjust this because my wind is going to drive me absolutely nuts. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. So back to it. So Dr. Vault uses his power to summon Fing Fang Foom. This is the second appearance of Fing Fang Foom. It and, def and oh, Fing Fang Foom to defeat it, the living Colossus. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but this was done by Roy Thomas. And we're going to try to adjust this so I can tell you the story without wind interruptions, weather. But this is what you got for outside, so I apologize. Here we go. Dr. Bolt uses his power to summon Fing Fang Foom to defeat it and take over his body. Bob O'Brien is able to, again, take control over its body. And he, along with Fing Fang Foom who has shaken off Dr. Vault's control, battle Graviter, and to, to save Earth, O'Brien appears to be dead when his mind enters its mind. His drained, uh, he is then driven, O'Brien is, to the hospital by Felix. When Lord Grantor uses his transportation device to try to escape, it destroys the device. Uh, it destroys the device, and Lord Gantor, Doctor Volt, takes control of Fing Fang Foom again, and O'Brien is declared dead at the hospital. So that's kind of what that story is about. But you guys at all should know Fing Fang Foom. But great book. Sorry that took a little longer than expected. <laughs> Here's a cool one. This came out in '96. She put an actual clear backing board on this one, which is neat. This is a Halloween edition. And this is Halloween Magazine, number one of 1996. Beautiful book. Love this lady. This was excellent. Really good read. Um, look at that. Nice little trade. Nice mylar. Beautiful. Next, we got Twilight Zone. Issue one. Now, this is a different segment story, but this is excellent. This one came out in 1990. But beautiful, love this stuff, love it, love it. Another Twilight Zone, number two, from Now Comics. Excellent, excellent. Then we got X-Men Apocalypse Dracula. This is a one through four set. Um, missing four, I have to get four yet. This came out in 2006, here's issue one. You know me and Dracula, I love it, but X-Men Apocalypse Dracula. This is a fun story. Was it good? It was okay. 
you know, they always try to keep using the Dracula formation for everything, but I'm a big Dracula fan. Excellent series um, so far. So thank you, Caroline. Beautiful book. Number two. And we got number three. Look at this. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful copy. Love it, Caroline. Thank you so much. Then we got Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight. This is an homage cover to the classic cover. This, came, uh, this is cover B. Came out uh, January 11, 2023. Issue 10. You can see the homage cover to Ghost Rider. Beautiful copy, though. I mean, that's awesome. Legacy book. Very, very cool. Then we got Blade, Another Vampire, 1994. Issue 2. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very, very nice. Then we got number 41 from 1992. We got another story. Real quick thing here. I got to show you this. Love this. I have, This is like my third copy of this. this. is awesome. What if the Avengers had fought Galactus? Issue 41. This is great. Giant size special. So this came out in September 92. Short story. Um, the Fantastic Four die in their space flight. And the Avengers have to fight Galactus. Oh no, what happens? You know what if. But you know, I love what if. I even like the cartoons that they put on Disney. Those are great if you haven't seen them, guys. So great, great stuff. And then we got Max. Now, I thought this was interesting, uh, lady. I looked this up. I'm going to have to buy these. This is a one through four series as well. I did not have this. This reminds me of something from uh, Blade the movie. I think of Morbius, the living vampire, for some reason. But I'm going to read this. I did not read this one yet. I'm going to. Um, this is one I did not read, but I, I'm interested in this. It's adult-oriented. The art in here was excellent. So, But I don't know the story yet. I didn't did not read it. But hey, excellent. Thank you so much. And then we got another one This interesting. I'm going to read this little note to you. So here we go. We got a supersized Tomb of Terror. Now, Tomb of Terror started out in, the, I think it was the 40s or the 30s, in Golden Age. And they've reprinted a couple of different covers, and they kind of redo them a little bit. Uh, more chills, more pages, super issue, volume one. So in this particular story, I'm going to try to prop this up without the wind blowing everything over. Okay, so this came out in 2010. And this is Marvel's most terrifying monster star in a foretale of harrowing horror. Jack Russell and the werewolf by night stalk a killer werewolf in the mountains while searching for a cure that will end his curse. The man formal, the man known as Man-Thing is temporarily in possession of his mind. That werewolf, the crazy one attempts to save a man from certain death at the hands of a racist hunters and a son of Satan battles a possessed child killer along with his murderous voices in his head. All in this and much, much more. You have to read the rest. This was fun. And it's all in black and white. The art is really good and the stories are really good. Thank you so much, Carol. I did not have that, Caroline. This was excellent. And then we got another fun one. Thought this was interesting. This is basically a college book, I would call this. This is DC's. DC's just want to have fun. It's a bunch of uh, frat kids, all high schoolers, and it's got superheroes, it's got villains, and they're all having parties, and they're having a big party. So it's interesting. It made me laugh. It's really cute. It's excellent. It's, it's horror. Boom. Win, win, win. So love it. Thank you so much, Caroline. And it's a little trade. Yeah, very nice. It was fun read. And then we had some classic. I'm a big Dark Horse um, Comics Presents fan. I love the series. I'm collecting a uh, a run, or I'm only like probably 10 for getting a complete series of the Dark Horse Presents. And that would be my second run of this. I love this. Back then when this came out, they all had many stories. You had uh, the uh, introduction to aliens, the introduction to Predator, introduction to Black Cross, which is the first one. But I love these because these were all like mini stories in here. And look at this. You got Predator. Kill him. No, don't kill me. Nah, kill him, the guy's saying. But anyway, Dark Horse Presents, which is awesome. Number 67. Thank you so much, Caroline. Now, getting back into some horror, which is interesting. I love this. Look who's afraid. The Joker? Really? Really? 
Secrets of Sinister House, issue one, 80 page giant. This was fun. I actually really enjoyed this. This came out in 2019. Um, it's 80 pager and it was a lot of fun. Loved it. Loved the cover. Beautiful. Um, then we got this. So I found this interesting. I'm going to take the note off of here. This is the first appearance of Cassandra. It came out in May 2008. It's a key book. Um, key books are great to have if you get them in your collection. But this one here is the first appearance of Cassandra. And it's really interesting. I went to go look this up. And I was looking at some of the... I'm going to buy the run of this. It looks really good. The art is beautiful. But just so you're aware, there's a second printing of this book. Instead of this all being in black, it's in red. And actually, the artwork on that is done by Bernie Rison. And this is a 1 through 10. Uh, it's a 1 through 10 ratio, I think it is. But that's interesting. So I found that pretty cool. So that was a great book. And then the last one from Caroline's Pile, which I love... Mysteries of the Unexplored Worlds. Number one, volume one, issue 37, came out in August 1963. This was a fun read. Love this, Caroline. That was awesome. So that was the haul for Caroline, Lady Fantastic. So you guys rock. Lady, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll be making a couple more videos for all of you guys out there. Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. Enjoy. Thank you so much, you guys. G-Man out.